Hey folks, welcome back. I have your latest home prices and insights for the Peel and Durham region for week ending May, 20, May 18th, 2022. I received a call just last week from a lady that was looking to sell her house. Now, she had previously been on the market, very like just up until the time she called me, she had just terminated her listing and was asking me to come and talk to her about selling her house. So I did all my research, prepared everything, show up for the meeting, and, and, and I have notes on all the recent solds in their area. I've got notes and I'm showing her, you know, here's this property that's sold that's comparable to yours and here are the features compared to yours and, and, and the competition, because if she was on the market now, buyers would be looking at her house and looking at the, the comparable properties nearby and deciding which one they want to put an offer on. And so I went through all that. We talked about market conditions currently, what's happening with prices. And I determined, which I thought was very, very clear as to most likely your property would sell between this range and this range. And it was lots of examples, so it was very clear. And she said, wow, you know, I turned down two offers that were higher than that number, substantially higher. And I said, you turned them down, why? She said, I thought I can get more. I go, well, are you not believing what I'm showing you? She says, oh, no, no, no. It's very clear what you're telling me, but I thought I could get more because my realtor told me I can get more. I go, well, how, would you, how would your realtor tell you that when it's pretty clear? She goes, well, we never went through all that. I go, so how would you pick a selling price and how would you know what was good to accept? And she said that her realtor asked her what she wanted for the house and he kind of agreed to whatever she said and that's what they listed it at. You know, stories like that drive me absolutely insane. Here's, here's a seller, innocent in the process and is trusting the person that she hired. I, I recently had a, a plumbing issue where one of our, our pipes inside the wall burst and, and I had to call a plumber to get it fixed. Now, I'm not a plumber. I don't know anything about that stuff. I have a general idea, but I'm not a plumber. So this plumber came over, cut the hole in the drywall, saw the problem, then called me over. I wasn't standing over watching him, but called me over once he found the problem and said, look, here's your problem. There's a, there's a, a crack in the pipe. It froze over the winter. And now that you're starting to use the outside pipe, water's running through there. And, and this is where your leak is coming from. I, I couldn't argue. I mean, you, he's showing me the crack. I'm like, yeah, I agree. That's the problem. He says, look, I could repair it one of two ways. I could just remove it and put the new pipe in the same way, but there's a good chance you're going to have the same problem again. Or I, I, I've seen this many times. If I repair it in this way, a little bit different, you won't have this problem again. So it makes sense. And he showed me and explained it to me. I'm not a plumber, but I'm on board with what the plum plumber explained to me. I, this is what you kind of got to consider when you're working with a realtor. You don't need to know everything about setting a price for your home. You don't need to know everything about, about how offers are written and what clauses mean or how they can help you, but they should be explained to you so you and the realtor are on board. You're on board with the price so you know what's a good price when it comes in or what's a fair price when it comes in. You, you need to know how the clauses are protecting you in the offer, whether you're selling or buying. All these things need to be explained and need to be understood. So this way you and the realtor as a team could move forward together in the transaction. If you need to be telling your realtor what to do, you hired the wrong realtor. If your realtor is just doing things and just expecting you to to understand and or just expecting you to go along with whatever the realtor says and the realtor doesn't back up or explain what they're doing to get you on board, I think you've hired the wrong realtor. It's so important you hire somebody that you have confidence that they know what they're doing and they have the confidence enough to explain it to you and say, this is why, and you're like, makes sense. Anyways, as always, who you hire matters now more than ever. If you feel this video can help somebody you know, please pass it along. Let's get into the numbers. No, no, no. 
If you want to speak with me about your real estate situation, it's really simple. Below this video in the description is a link to my calendar. Click on that, book a time that's convenient for you. This way I'll know ahead of time and I'll make sure I'll organize my schedule so we can talk to you about whatever's on your mind. And if you're looking for an awesome starter detached home, check out the video at the end of this video. Okay, let's get into the numbers here. Here's a quick summary. Mississauga starts up here, goes this way. Brampton starts up here prices, goes this way. And the Durham region also starts up here and goes this way. Prices are dropping. It's causing panic. Sellers are panicking and buyers are panicking. Let me, I'm going to pull up Mississauga. We'll get into the, the, the fine details in a second. Just let me tell you where, where all the panic is. If you're a seller right now, here's where a whole bunch of sellers are panicking. They've already bought. They bought at the peak. And when they bought, they did all their planning and organization and thought, we're going to buy at this number. We're going to wait a couple months for the spring market because the spring market is going to be awesome. Prices are going to be much higher than what they are now. And we're going to sell at that time and everything's going to be great. They're not selling at the number that they thought they were going to sell at and they need that sale for their purchase. That's a problem. And here's where buyers are panicking. They bought at the peak, but they haven't closed yet. And even if they've got their mortgage in place, because of the way prices are going, we've seen it before where mortgage companies, banks, they will reassess even if they've done the assessment and, and you know been okay with things at the time that you bought. They have the option and a lot of them will maybe soon start taking it of reassessing the value of that home. And what you bought it at, if the assessment doesn't come in at that price but comes in lower, that difference you, you kind of as the buyer need to make up for that in cash. So they're panicking that their home is that they bought, they haven't yet closed on, is not going to assess at the value they need. That's a problem. So sellers, buyers, got some financial worries, a, a lot of them. Let's get into the numbers here. This is Mississauga for a whole year, detached. We sold 51 detached properties and 50 or so kind of seems the norm over the last four or five weeks. So, I mean, 50 in general is, is, is a low sales week, but not for the last few weeks. It's been about normal. So we sold 51 detached properties in Mississauga. 12 of those were at $2 million or more. 12 is more than the previous week of eight selling at $2 million or more. So just in that alone, you kind of think average sold price should go up, but it didn't. Average sold price came down from the previous week. It's now sitting at 1,683,000. And we had the peak here of around 2 million. We're now down to 1683. Prices are coming down. Compared to last year, we're nine, average sold price is 9% higher than last year's average sold price. So it, it all depends of what part of real estate you're interested in. If you're like transacting right now, it doesn't really matter what happened last year. It's the trend and what's happened in the last few weeks. And, which direction are we going is really important to you. If you bought a year ago or two years ago and you're thinking of selling, the year over year is important to you. Or if you're just kind of on the sidelines, watching, curious, you, you, you like to stay on top of things, uh, you, pick and, you pick and choose what numbers are going to be the most valuable to you. But compared to last year, average sold price is 9% higher than what it was a year ago. But down quite a bit from where we were just a few months ago in February. Median price for detached properties in Mississauga is 17% higher than what it was a year ago. As far as sales year to date, we are 37% less sales this year than last year. 37% is a big difference in sales year over year. And of the 51 that sold, 63% sold at list price or more. Listings year to date are 16% lower this year than what we were listing last year. And months of inventory has been climbing week after week. It's been climbing. It's now sitting at 1.9 months of inventory. And as months of inventory go up, prices tend to come down at the beginning of this. And this is just going back about three or four months. We were 1.8, high 1.8, 1.9. We're now 1.7, 1.6. Prices are coming down. 
here's Brampton. We sold 75 detached properties in Brampton, a little lower than last week, but not so far off what we've been selling kind of the last six weeks or so. Seven of those were at $2 million or more. Average sold price came up a little bit from the previous week. It's now sitting at 1,358,000. At our peak, we were higher than 1,6. We're now at 1,358,000. Compared to last year, 1,358,000 is 15% higher than last year's average sold price. Median price is 18% higher than last year's median price. And you can see the median price here, the burgundy line from high 1516 down to where it is now 1,300,000. That's over the span of about three or four months. Sales year to date, we are 39% less sales this year than what we were selling a year ago, year to date. So January 1st to May 18th. And of the 75 that sold, 48%, so less than half, sold at list price or more. We were in the 90 percentile selling at list price or more. Now less than half are selling at list price or more. Listings are 16% lower year to date this year versus last year. We listed 228 detached properties in Brampton last week. And months of inventory, just like Mississauga, is climbing week after week. It's now sitting at 1.6 months of inventory. Let's look at the Durham region. Now for Durham, I'm using Pickering, Ajax, and Whitby as my Durham sample. We sold 72 detached properties in the Durham region. Again, for Pickering, Ajax, and Whitby. I keep repeating that because people keep asking me, what about Usher, what about this? I'm just focused right now for the sake of this chart Pickering, Ajax, and Whippy, that's the sampling. 72 properties, detached properties were sold in Pickering, Ajax, and Whippy. Uh, two of those were at $2 million or more. And, and the 72, I mean, it's been like that for the last approximately 70 for the last 10 weeks or so. Average sold price is stayed the same as it was the previous week. It's rounded, but it's $1,215,000. Big change from where we were, the 1516, we're now at 1215, big difference. Still though, 1,215,000 is 13% higher than what it was a year ago. And, and I know from reading the comments on, on the channel that it bugs some people when I say we're lower than where we were, we've come way down from February's high, but we're still much higher than last year. I don't know how else to say it. That's the reality of the market we're in, of the prices, that's the reality. So that's how I say it. So average sold price is 13% higher than a year ago. Median price for the Durham region is 14% higher than what it was a year ago. And, and you could see the median price was around 1.5, high 1.4s. We're now at 1,140,000 as the median price for detached properties in the Durham region. Sales, 31% less year to date this year versus last year. And of the 72 that sold, 65% sold at list price or more. A few months ago, we were in the high 90s selling at list price or more. This week, last year, we were selling at list price or more was 90%, but now we're sitting at 65%. Listings year to date are 9% lower. We listed 156 detached properties in the Durham region and months of inventory has stayed the same. It's sitting at 0 0.9. Now 0 0.9 in any other market would be like, wow, what an aggressive seller's market. And it's still in Durham, still fairly strong. But Durham used to be at 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. So 0 0.9, kind of like a holiday, like, wow, only 65% selling a list price or more. It used to be in the high 90s. So it's, it's, it's like a, it's a different world in buying in Durham than what it was before. Let's look at condos. This is for Peel region condos. The majority of these are being bought and sold in Mississauga, but I've got for Peel region, we sold 58 condos in Peel region. Average sold price is come down, 654000 is the average sold price. It was at 750, 753, it's now 
654, so it's come down about 100,000 average sold price, but it's still 15% higher than what it was a year ago. Median price is 19% higher than what it was a year ago, and it's, it's virtually the same. Medium and average sold price is practically the same. As far as sales go, year-to-date sales, 18% less sales this year than what we were selling last year. And of the 58 that did sell, 62% sold at list price or more. Listings year-to-date are up 5% this year versus last year. We listed 155 condos and months of inventory is one of the only home types where months of inventory came down. But generally speaking, I, I have a feeling this is kind of like a once-off we were at 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 9.1. We went up to 2.1 last week. I have a feeling we're now sitting at 1.6. I kind of expected to go up again next week. Uh, so 1.6 is the months of inventory. Again, average sold price is 654,000. Here's the summary. Months of inventory generally is going up and across the board, generally speaking, Average sold price is coming down. Less and less properties are being sold in a multiple offer situation, but there still are a bunch of them being sold. And sometimes the property could be sitting out there. This just happened with us with one of my buyer clients. A property was sitting on the market too high. Nobody would go see it, no offers. It got relisted at a lower price. And next thing you know, they got multiple offers. So you really got to kind of really pay attention to what's happening. It doesn't mean you can just go in and negotiate whatever you want, but at the same time, there's room to negotiate. Depends on the situation and what you're looking to buy. Hope this information is useful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.